is Fitter Friday here at Second Swing. I'm Thomas Campbell here with fellow fitter James Tracy. Morning, my friend. How are you? Doing good. How are you doing? I'm excellent. I'm excited. We got three really cool drivers to be testing this morning. We do. Two that you've hit before. That's the G400 LS Tech, you know, a really popular driver from the last 18 months. The new G410 Plus, and then the hotly contested, anxiously awaited, I know you've been chomping at the bit to, uh, yep, to test waiting this thing for it to be released. with the new LS Tech. So we're going to see how those three heads compare, make some adjustments to them, and really just kind of fine tune a little bit and see how the three heads um, are different and similar at the same time. Sounds fun. Let's get after it. All right, Mr. Campbell, we're going to start off with last year's... Uh, one of the top drivers from last season, G400 LS Tech. Sounds good. Got the eight and a half head here for you. Yep. We're just gonna start all these in the standard setting. Okay. And then we have Ping's Tour 65 extra stiff shaft. Yep. At 45 inches. So we'll use that as a constant shaft all the way through. That way we can play around with Ping's adapter, you know, as we get into the G410 product if we want to. So Sounds good. All right. So let's, let's fire let's a few get a couple of this. Having over a, a year to gain experience with this model, both hitting it and fitting it, what are your overall impressions of this head? I have actually, I've actually really, really liked it a lot. Um, the fact that it has been that lower spinning model has really helped, my, well, a lot of customers coming in with are fighting that spin. So mm -hmm. it definitely has knocked a lot of spin off a lot of drivers for a lot of, for a lot of customers. So In terms yeah. of just in relationship to ping drivers historically how does this one rank in your list in terms of just the shape look feel ping can be a love hate just for the yep. size sounds yep. a little different than the carbon crowns you're used to playing so. yeah so it's um i think for me dr ping drivers all the time have definitely improved for the looks for, for me for sure the way they set up mm -hmm. um that first one that i just hit right there i felt really really solid actually yeah and it didn't sound like tingy or anything like some ping drivers have kind of sounded in, in the past yeah so cool. Yep, so no, it, this yeah, so this is an unstoppable combo last year. So, yep, no, this was. See if the 410's got a chance to beat it here. Yep, it'll so be a couple more. That first test. one was great for you, Thomas. It was straight. really nice. All good numbers there. Might have been my reaction to yeah. leaving it out to the right a little yep. bit. A little more movement, but yep. good strike though. Yep, that's good. Spin, launch, ball speed, all pretty good. Good numbers. That was a little healy. Yep, not gonna stay straight. Uh. Yeah, I got a little, <laughs> got a little antsy with that one. Yep. That's all right. Again, that's where. 410 with movable weights. Sometimes we can put a little bit of anti-left or anti-right yep. into the head. LS Tech, you know, doesn't want to draw as much as their other models from that mm -hmm. year, but yep. you know, that's kind of un an unlikely miss for you typically on the course. Yeah, that was a little bit too quick left for me yep. there. You know. Let's hit a couple more. Good contact there. Yeah, still hovering down that left side today. Yeah, this would be a day where the part, the dog leg rights wouldn't be as favorable for you. Correct. Like I was telling you earlier, I've, this has probably been a little, gone a little rough patch in my, my driving here, so I'm excited today to try and see if we can maybe make a couple little tweaks Good. to try and help me out a well, little that's, bit. Well, it's important to know yep. that when you come in for a fitting, too. Some days you're, you have your A-plus swing. Yep. Some days you have your B-plus, C-plus, D-plus swing. Usually the club you end up hitting the best is still the best on all four days. Yep. You just might not be as proud of the data um, mm -hmm. as you are in your A-plus day versus your, yep. your C-plus day. Yep. However, you have won three tournaments so far this spring. So, you know, as a slump for you, <laughs> is, it's all relative, I suppose. Yes, can't win them all, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear you. All right. Let's hit one more. Now, I'm actually more intrigued by your pattern today because typically in our videos, we're usually trying to get the driver to draw a little more yep. because of your normal symptoms. Well, today and recently, you've been seeing a little more of a left miss. 
So we might be able to test some things with the newer ping models that we normally haven't been testing in previous videos. Yeah. So that we'll see if that stuff actually definitely plays would a role love to straighten it out as much as I as much as I could for sure. Totally. Well, yep. So I would say that though historically, G four hundred LS tech not a not a right to left head. It's usually a head, especially in the ping family, yep. that was harder to turn over. So we'll see how the symptoms play a role here as we go from G four hundred to G410. Sounds Let's good. start with just the standard plus yep. model. What are things that you've noticed between the two heads in your testing so far this year? So between the Alice Tech and the G410 head? Yeah. Yep. Uh, so the 400? Yeah, G400 yep. to 410. Well, what have been the big takeaways for you so far? Well, you mentioned the adjustability piece. That has been great. I've got two ping woods in my bag already, 400, 410 woods this year that I've put in there that I've put in the flat setting. Right. Essentially anti-left, essentially. Yeah. I think for better that. players, the G410 hybrid is almost unbeatable by being able to flatten it out. It yeah. sets up so square. It sets up so non-draw bias in its look. Yep. It's just, a, it's just an absolute beast. And then the LS Tech 3 would has been a monster. Yep. So, so that's exactly um, what I've got on my bag. Yeah, three hybrid go. and the LS Tech 3 would. So. Okay. Well, I, I wouldn't argue with any of that. <laughs> so we're going to go 410 plus. Yep. Neutral setting. Okay. Now obviously the newer heads come standard at the nine degree setting. So just as, so we can keep the lie angle constant and keep the hosel setting just neutral. We'll keep these just at the stated loft at nine. Okay. Sounds so we good. We can mess around with that. Yep. Same shaft. Same length. Yep. Yeah, so first initial reaction is looking down at this club. These turbulators, the crown, definitely seems a lot bolder. So they bolder. Bolder, yeah. Yep. Okay. So definitely crisper, bolder look down at, at it. Yeah. Yep, I agree. The lines are a little sharper. A little bit sharper, yep. Now, when you say bolder, is that in a, is that better? Does that mean that you see too much of the turbulators in the crown, or does that mean that I don't think you I'm think seeing it's just a cleaner look, like they're more defined, more defined, cleaner look. Okay. I don't I don't hate this by all means. Obviously, my you know whenever I have played other drivers, I've played maybe something that doesn't have as much going on on, on the crown. Right. But I, I don't hate it by all means, and I th I think if anything, it might even help me line up a little bit yeah. easier too. Yeah. But I think for those players that still are hell bent on seeing a perfectly clean crown. Titleist is about your, yep. your maybe Srixon's driver. Those two are super, super clean on the top. <laughs> Most people have now become accustomed to seeing something. Yep. You know, the days of just black head, little mark. Those things are, those days are far <laughs> behind us, I think. Yeah. So all those little things can help. I must say my first reaction after hitting this one up straight off the club face has how loud it was. Yeah. It, it sounded. It's noisy yeah, inside. It was, it, was, it was loud, yeah. Yeah. Probably the echo from I haven't from done inside. a lot of outdoor testing with yep. either of these heads, but you know, being in Minnesota where we've been cooped up for a while um, <laughs> since we received these heads. But yeah, yep. definitely, definitely a little bit more bang yep. off the face there. There's no question. It is loud. And I think it's been mixed reactions. You know, some players I've tested really like that. You know, sometimes the sound gives you more feedback. Yep. You know, between the best and the worst. If everything's dull and muted, everything kind of sounds the same. Mm -hmm. So there's an audible response that sometimes can be helpful with a louder driver. Certainly it's not like a Nike Sasquatch uh, type of like gross loud, <laughs> but it, it is, it is yep. a powerful noise yep. coming off that face yep. for sure. I like the idea of powerful coming off of club face, that's yeah, for sure. That's good. It's a good adjective for sure. I think the face and the um, and the crown contribute. Those are three pretty friendly little balls there. Yeah, those were like nice and straight pattern. shots. Looks like your four iron there <laughs> right in a row.
Sounded solid. Yeah. One of your faster ball speeds I've seen. Swing speed's picking up a little bit. Finally, uh, <laughs> finally warming up this season there, Tom. It's starting to <laughs> climb up over the 110s that we've yeah. We were kind of stuck on this off season. Yeah, good move there. I like it. Let's try one more. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love the pattern. I love. I definitely really love solid. that pattern. Yeah, that one. That one, nice and solid every, every time there. I um, really like the pattern. Ball speed came up a little bit. Yep. At 164. Spin we did came see up. Spin. Of, yeah. Yep. We did yeah. see spin rise a little. Now you had a couple quick, quick pull draws with the, uh, the LS Tech. Yep. I think we saw we had, had one at 19. Yep. We had one at 31. So. Yep. You know the spin deviation was pretty consistent with the G410, but it is spinning a little higher. And all those things we would anticipate though for sure. Yeah. A lot higher ball flight. At 125, again, I would say that that's a little more typical for you. Yeah, kind of I mean, at 115 about, to 125. About 110, 120. Yeah, 125 yeah. is yep. plenty high. So I yep. think LS Tech, you know, when flying straight is definitely a lower flight, probably a more pleasing flight for you. I mean, you've liked M5 this year. You've liked sub zeros in the past. Yep. Um, so, you know, the standard model in your world might be a little high, but you can't really argue with the pattern. I mean, it, all it was straighter. I mean, like I said, I've been struggling with my driving a little bit. If I can just get in the fairway right now, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a big plus. So. Check mark for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So. Well, let's throw that LS Tech at you. We'll keep okay. it in the same setting. Sounds good. So with that 2800 RPMs and the 125 peak height, we'll see how these two heads compare. Yep. With the robot here. And typically, you know, for a competitive player like you. Oh, you are greedy though with your distance, so you might be a little bit more fond of a lower spin rate than others, but I think 22 to 26 is comfy. 2,000 pushes the envelope, but you know, those are players that just to play good golf at 2,000 RPMs and to really maximize the distance, you want to be launching at 14, 15, 16. It's hard to get to that spin unless you're really hitting up on the ball yep. or you're just a really phenomenal in your launch angle. So I, I usually think, don't have a problem hitting up on it with, my, with the driver, no, no. Uh, which, I think which helps. Yeah. yeah, I think 12 to 14 launch, yep. you know, 22 to 26, I think that's a really good playing spin rate, especially yep. since we know you're drawing the ball. You know, if you start messing close to that 2000 RPMs and then you get one that curves a little too much, now that spin Some goes under 2000. We saw one of those of the with the LS yeah. Tech, the G400, you had that 1900 RPM ball and that really cut across to the left side yep. pretty quickly. All right, so again, 265X, same shaft, same length as the other two, nine degree standard loft, and now the, uh, the new toy here at LS Tech. Let's see what Sounds this one good. is. First off, Mix. does the head uh, look different than the last one? Does it shape a little different? Uh, yes, size? so what I noticed looking down at it, if anything, it looks like the face is just ever so slightly open compared to the last one. Okay. Um, maybe a touch smaller, but Kay. really, yeah, Similar. maybe a touch smaller from this point to this point, but otherwise it's face to trailing yeah. edge. Okay. It's, yeah, it's pretty pretty close overall though. Yeah. Good. More solid there. I felt like I didn't quite catch that, catch that one in the middle of the club face, but it, what I did notice is the spin was still pretty reasonable. I feel like it was ever so slightly just off, off the heel there. Okay. Um, but for a miss it, that's a good miss it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, maybe a groove low on that one. Yeah. Caught a little bit of spin there. Pretty good efficiency though. And then again, with the straighter flight, that one spun a little more than the others that we've seen, but that's yeah. just because you had a little less curve. It today. wasn't hovering down the left side as much. Yep, yeah. yep, good ball speed, 165.
kind of what we want. That's that more what I was like, hoping to see right yeah, there. Yeah, that's kind of the winner there, right? Yep. 2300, good ball speed, good peak height. That was the longest carry. This it's morning. the longest carry we've seen there too, yep. and probably longest distance as yep. well. And the right nice. shape, the right ball flight. I, mean, I checked yep. every box there. Yep. Yeah, that was really good. That sounded good too. Yeah, that was another good pass at it. Two good swings there. Yeah, right next to each other. Yeah, that was better. Yeah, the brother and sister team on those last two swings there. Those are I like the, I like that. Consistency, swing to swing, very back good. To back, right there back to good. back, almost identical numbers. Love those numbers. Yep. Everything about that. Yes, sir. I didn't quite catch that one, but it felt good too. It's kind of interesting today. I would say that you know where historically LS Tech heads, you know, by design don't tend to draw as much. Yep. The way you're swinging them today, maybe it's a psychological <laughs> thing. Maybe you know, face is open, I can release it a little harder. Standard head model, subconsciously, and as a fitter, and as a club dork, right? You know that that head might draw a little bit. Yep. So you might just release the club differently, just knowing what the tendencies of the heads are. It could be that, and also, like I did tell you, I have been struggling a little bit more with the left ball as of, as of recent, too. So. Yep. A yep. little bit more of a swing floor, a little yep. bit there too. Mm -hmm. We noticed yeah. all three of them kind of hovering a little down the left side today. They did. Regardless. Yep. So yep. what I like is that, you know, uh, you know, the three best hits with the LS Tech, you know, did hug just that nice five to ten yards left of the center line. Yep. You know, and compare your three best with the LS Tech in terms of the where they resulted on the on the on the range there to the three best hits with the standard head. You can definitely see that when you catch that LS Tech solid, there's another ten yards in there because of the lower spin, yeah. right? Those two that I did hit solid, they, they felt really, really, really good yeah. overall. Yeah. 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 Again, so. really good ball speed, you know, up a little bit even from the G410 plus model yep. at 164.7. You know, really efficient, you know, in terms of that ball speed staying similar across the board. On average, we did see the spin drop about 200 RPMs. So relative to the G400 LS Tech, it was spinning a little bit more. But again, that has a lot to do with the sample size. Yep. You know, if you look at two of the shots with the LS Tech and the G400 were hard left. They're quick left. You know, that, they're that, le like we said, that 1900 one that's in there, that was, you yep. know, it's definitely was probably a, more of an outlier. Correct. Sure. And they were, you know, 30, 40 yards left of your intended line. So they're, you know, strikes that on the golf course wouldn't resu have resulted in a good result. Even though the spin was lower, yep. it, was a, it was a poor strike. Um, the G400 LS Tech also had one when you caught it a little bit straighter that spun right at about 3100, 3090. Yep. Same with the um, uh, the G410 LS Tech. Um, oh, excuse me. G410 yeah, 3120 yeah. on the G400 on your highest spin. Yep. And you had one that cracked the 3000 mark as well. So even on your spinny shot, you were seeing a little bit less spin um, with the new LS Tech model. Which we like. Obviously, yep. you're you're staying in that optimal range that we talked about. I had four um, or five that were right around about that 23 to 2600. Correct. So, Especially yeah. the good ones. Yeah. yeah. You know, if we take the sample of five, you know, no deletions, we did see kind of what we expected. You know, a little bit less spin with LS Tech by about 200 RPMs, give or take. Peak trajectory came down about 10 feet more in your optimal window there. You know, yep. for carry and for total, and that's why we're getting the best averages. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I think based on your ball flight, based on, you know, wanting to, you know, get that launch and spin right where we wanted to, um, knowing that you're a better player and you probably prefer a driver that sits more square to open and hedges more towards smaller versus more towards, you know, elongated and big, high MOI yep. shape, that's a head that probably gives you more confidence, would you say? Yeah, no, I, looking down at this one, this was the best looking, probably, <laughs> crisper, bolder, kind of more, you know, more defined look with, 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 with the turbulators than, yeah. than the older one. Right. Now, I do like, the, obviously, the, the slightly more smaller heads with LS Tech. So, you know, probably would be leaning towards definitely liking this driver head at the most based on what I was seeing with numbers there. And yeah. talking about the possibility of even adjustability would to maybe even more define this even, even more as well. So Totally love it. Yep. Cool. So the other two things I want to do here is now that you're displaying 
some symptoms of the left, which a lot of our high club head speed players come in. A lot of LS Tech potential customers are probably you know, excited about that head speed <laughs> potential to keep their ball from going left. Let's slowly make some adjustments to see how much you know, movement we get left to right, okay. you know, assuming you stay the same. And <laughs> which I'm, I'll, you know, I'll of, do my of, best. Of most of my uh, guys <laughs> I work with, you're, you're about as reliable as they come. So. <laughs> also want to just get your take on, you know, the flatter setting here, you know, with this new hosel, how much does that really change the way that that club looks at a dress to you? Yep. Is it noticeable? We'll keep the loft just at nine. We'll just start in a flatter setting. Okay. And then maybe we'll throw the weight out into the toe, kind of something we haven't done a ton with videos with you. Yeah, sounds but good. Yep. The symptoms are kind of. But symptoms are kind of leaning that. towards that direction right now. Take anything to find me find more fairways right now. Correct. And that's I think what's nice about having an adjustable driver is that you know, sometimes your ball flight changes year to year. You know, you can, you know, a lot of players might have a, a dominant tendency over time, but for a better player like you, you know kind of play with the swing that you have. And if you can manipulate your driver through a slump, through a stretch, to get it in play and stay competitive, even if you aren't swinging your best, yep. if you're still getting it in play, you can manage that part of your game a little bit better and, and still score and play well, so. Totally agree. Yep. Cool, all right, let's get maybe four or five hits with the flatter line angle. Any yeah, initial no, it, impressions at address? Is it subtle it, or is it something you notice? It's something I notice for okay. sure, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not as upright as before. Okay. Yeah, neck to that one a li little bit. Yeah. Historically, you have also, if I recall, liked, you know, when we tested Sub-Zero versus standard Epic Flash, flatter Sub-Zero head, liked it. M5, flatter, Yep. you know, compared to other drivers. Both tailor-made models are a little on the flatter side. We like those too. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the lower lofted Cobra head, a little flatter than the higher lofts. I mean, all those things tend to appeal to a player with speed, a player with an you know, inside path. I mean, all those things that you do well. Yep. A flatter head makes a lot of sense there. Yep, flatter or less loft, I was definitely kind of like trending towards that direction. Correct. See if I can find the middle of the club face for once. Yeah, can you do that once? For <laughs> <me>? <laughs> I feel like I've just been catching just a little bit healy all day. <laughs> that was definitely a miss hit. Yeah, the low spin there kind of saved the That saved it. That, that was definitely yep, still... Yeah, we can tell my miss. smash factor number. It's been yep, clearly a, a miss. Bit Seventy lower. feet. Yeah, we know you didn't catch that one quite right. Yep. So Good the miss learning, though. Learning curve with the flatter line angle hasn't gone quite as well as we'd like. That sounds a little bit better. Yeah. Tight pattern. However, it didn't really move the ball right for you a ton. You know, so other things, you know, in that test were changing a little bit. Yeah. If you look in the neutral setting, you know, fantastic uh, contact. So, yeah, you're really slumping, Thomas. Yeah, wow, you're really <laughs> striking that driver poorly this week. All right. Curious we to see went, what happens when you went flat. When we went into the flatter setting, it actually moved you a little bit more into the heel, which you felt like was That's exactly kind where of I your, felt like I was hitting it. Yeah. yeah. So, no, I, I wouldn't say that that's a, you know, a general rule where every time you make a driver or a club flatter, you hit it more in the heel. That yeah. is just, but that's what happened here. And as a result, it was creating a little less efficiency. The ball flight didn't necessarily start more to the right. In fact, it started a little left, maybe because of that heel impact. Yep. But yeah, that's why we experiment with these things. So yeah, I would say based on the evidence, you know, you're definitely making more centered contact. All the numbers were better in the standard lie angle setting mm -hmm. based on the swing this morning. So I'd kind of start yeah. there. Let's throw the weight in the toe. Let's see if that has more influence on Maybe the right a little and more left. influence on that right to left. But kind of interesting. Yeah. If anything we've validated that your uh, that your feel is, is still intact. <laughs> you and the track man were agreeing with your hit location. I definitely know when I catch it on the heel. Yeah, <laughs> it's been you know. been there too often this year. <laughs> it's occasional when I run into 
a golfer that maybe doesn't quite have a great sense of where they hit it on the face, but I find myself less likely to argue with you when you say you hit it in the heel. <laughs> I, I don't need to check yeah. the track man for validation. I'm usually, <laughs> usually feeling pretty good about your <laughs> self-assessment there. Okay, so we're going to jump back to the standard setting, 9 degrees, standard lie. But we're going to flip that weight into the toe. Okay. And we'll see if the operator can stay consistent here for a couple more swings, please. And we'll see if it just tightens up that left miss that we've been battling a little bit as of late. All right, three or four more there, champ. Okay. Good starting line. A little bit of extra spin there, but yeah. again, did what we were intending to do with that adjustment. The smash playable. factor was higher, but did spin more. Yep. It was very high as well. Yep. Probably the operator. Not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Again, there's kind of good and bad with that one. We'll hit a couple more. So interesting how much spin we've gained there. Yeah. Not something I would have expected. It's not something that should have happened. Correct. So, yeah. You know, whether you know you're catching it a little we'll, we'll check the hit location here in a minute. But the contact hasn't been poor. No, it hasn't been poor. Right? We see, did see a, a pretty strong increase in spin. Obviously when you go from a shot that's falling 20, 25 yards left to a shot now that's curving one, two, three yards left. There should be additional spin. Yeah. You know, that spin axis, when it's tilted really hard to the left, you're going to see backspin pretty low. Whereas the spin axis curving right or even straight, you know, the overall backspin number is going to be higher for sure. Yeah. But that was a bigger jump than I was than I was. That was like, a big jump for there. Sure. Was Definitely straightened you out though. High and spinny. I mean, it straightened me out. Yep. I would would like to hit a little bit further though and straight. I hear you. <laughs> It was a little that higher. One came, speed. That one came out a little better. There we go. That's the shot. Very nice. I'm Oops. actually curious to see where the hit location on that last one was compared to those first two, because well, I feel like that one was hit more solid. But well, let's answer your your question. Right? We captured our attention there. You definitely saw all three of those fall right of the target line. So your first strike and your second strike were both just north and north of the equator, right? Yep. So maybe you got a little steeper on those swings, got a little underneath it, presented yep. a little too much loft with your extra spin, right? You know, dynamically your loft is too high there. That one much more in the center. More in the right? center, slightly tall. Yep. And then obviously even though you caught it in the toe, you know, because we've positioned some weight there, you know, that was one of the highest ball speeds that we've seen there at 165. That was 160, I think it was, yeah. Almost 160, 166. Yeah. So, I mean, you're getting, you're putting more insurance in that part of the face when you move the weight to the toe, for sure. Yep. And obviously that one, the spin and ball speed were more in the, in the frame that we want. The two higher spins so isn't the weight moving to the toe, it's the operator moving hit location up to the <laughs> top of the face. So, yep. you know, thankfully for all of us, we're, we're excited to know that you're not in the center. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I get so much pleasure in that. Maybe I shouldn't. Um, you know I'm going to be working harder it, it now. Well, I think <laughs> what it does is it adds some authenticity to uh, to our videos here because, you know, we know we're not doctoring up all these numbers. Like, yes, yeah. Thomas Campbell does miss it. And what happens when you miss hit a driver, right? There's a payout. There's yeah. a trade-off for sure. But, Big difference, I mean, yeah. if those who are watching are thinking, man, can I get, can, do those weights do anything to the ball flight? I mean, clearly we saw a huge shift from left pretty much all morning long and then all three of those strikes, not perfect hits, yeah. except for the last one, which would, was a 9.9 out of 10, all of them stayed right of the line. Not something you probably want in your game, Correct. but maybe yeah. at the moment, you know, if you felt like I was really struggling with that left miss, there's a quick adjustment to the driver um, that made a huge difference in terms of the right and left, way more of an effect 
um, than flattening the lie angle. Yeah, it definitely will be a good quick adjustment, especially like I said, I'm trying to hit that anti-left, maybe allow me to go after it a little harder and yeah. don't worry about it, go, go as far left. So, yeah, cool, yeah. really interesting test. Yep. You know, thanks for putting a few swings on there and, and giving, a, giving us a nice, accurate yeah. uh, Not my best there. today, but hey. it was a, probably a good representation of, you know, what we can do with, with this driver. I sure. think it showcases yeah. all the benefits of how the LS Tech model fits into the 410 family and, and the types of golfers and the types of ball flights and scenarios where that head's really going to be a hard one to beat yep. uh, in a fitting scenario. Yeah, very cool. So we got the chance to test the G400 LS Tech. G410 Plus and G, your new G410 LS Tech model. Um, Not too many surprises. You yeah. know, I think that the data, you know, proved very um, predictable. It you was. Know, very, we yeah. saw what we were kind of hoping to see with the new LS Tech. We were we saw what we wanted to see with the fitting adjustments that Ping's made. You know, being able to move the weight. We were able to shape your ball right to left. We kind of needed a little help with that yep. today. It was kind of a yeah. even a with bit my of a, yeah even with my worst you know worst probably ball striking today. You were able to manipulate it a little bit to get me to trade it out a little bit. So that was one thing that we can show that we can do with the new G410 line. Yeah, yep. huge advantage this year with the pings is the adjustability for sure. I'm really happy that pings got into the movable weight game. And obviously that LS Tech head is going to be a dynamo again this year, especially for players looking for that lower spin.